After maining Game and Watch for an entire year, I decided to switch mains. Damn, Albino, Albino nasty. So I thought to myself, what could possibly be more autistic than Mr. Game? One hit shield breaks, instant death, religion, crack cocaine, and the slowest fucking aerials in the entire game. Hero has it all. And today, we're gonna take a look at why Hero is a top tier character, and despite popular belief, is viable as a solo main in tournaments. You might have noticed that I refer to Hero as they instead of he. And it's not because they code websites. It's actually because there's four distinct heroes to choose from, and the first step to playing Hero correctly is picking the right skin. This is my Hero skin tier list, and as you can see, Bandana Boy is objectively the best skin. Not because of his looks, not even his voice, but instead, because Funny Sword go... Tier 2, aka is also acceptable. Just don't bother with shit here. They both have the same sound, and it's just... Here's a fun fact. Remember how Game & Watch has a 1 in 8 chance of landing a 9? Hero has a 1 in 8 chance of landing a crit. And both of them have the same outcome. If it lands, someone dies. Except Hero can't roll 1. If that sounds broken, it's because that's exactly what it is. Because when designing Hero, Nintendo was tasked with making sure that even the most senile 60-year-old vegetable could get the win. And the result was perfect. Bear with me for one moment, this is not an ad. Uh, I got sick, most likely the coronavirus could also. be something else. It's difficult to breathe, it's more difficult to do voice lines. So I hired some guy on Fiverr, uh, Italian American, to do parts of the video and possibly the rest of the video. I don't know, it, it depends on how long it takes me to get uh, well. Either way, enjoy. Hero has a lot of spells. Too many spells to fit a single character. So, Sakurai said fuck it, and put them all into a slot machine, more commonly known as the menu. There's 21 spells in total, but to make things simple, I put them into four categories. Projectiles. You shoot a thing, it does damage. Not very interesting, but very deadly. The only exception is snooze, which instantly puts whoever touches it into nicotine shock. Effectively tranquilizing it. Real good spell. 10 out of 10. Buffs. Always use them when you got them. No exception. The more you use, the stronger you get. Oomph. Makes you deal more damage. Psych up also makes you deal more damage. Use them both at the same time, and you can now instantly break someone's shield and will to live in that order. Accelerate makes you too fast. Use it anyways. Bounce is where things get interesting. Yes, it reflects projectiles, but what happens if the enemy also has a reflector? Every spell you cast will bounce back and forth and eventually remove you from the game. But what if I told you you get two spells that for no reason whatsoever does the opposite? Freeze is one of them. Here's a pro tip. Take note of when people use their reflections. Bad players will usually do it automatically when you open up the menu. If there are no bad habits, you can create one. Let them reflect the snooze. It's slow enough that they can do it on reaction, and for you to shield it on the way back. From their perspective, they just selected the right option and almost got a free kill confirmed. But it was in fact all according to plan. Because the next time they see your menu, you'll make a read so hard that you can write a book about it. <laughs> Now, if you don't want to go through that, you can always just swoosh. Works like a charm. Also, mass reflecting snooze does nothing. So just throw it out and kill him. Next up, we got slash moves. Flame smash is basically a side smash, except it's frame six and has twice the range. It also one-shot shields you if you have Psycho. 
Hero is very efficient at breaking shields, so it's only appropriate that he has the most brutal option to punish him. Ah! His next slash move, Hatchet Man, is essentially an ISIS execution, carried out with a sword instead of a machete. When the opportunity arises, you better start browsing menus fast. Did you find it? Good. If not, pick up buffs. Worst case, you smash attack. Best case, they die at zero percent. You can also use Kazap if you're a pussy. Mm. Hatchet Man also one-shot shields. And much like the Ganon stinky leg, it happens more often than you think. Crackle Slash. It's not good. Wild cards are the lay hidden gems on the menu, and generally the best way to earn style points. Kamikaze. You die, but so does everybody else above 30%. Very useful for a certain dominance when you have a stock lead, or if you just want to go out on your own terms. Magic Burst turns a third of the stage into a hitbox. That hitbox also lasts for a good three seconds and is downright absurd killing power. Whack and thwack are fair and balanced. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, because you truly earned that kill you top decked at zero percent. They died because you read them. Hocus Pocus is very rare. It's rare because it's extremely powerful. If you don't have the balls to always pick this, Hero is not for you. Go play some gay shit like Pelotet. Hocus Pocus has too many effects for me to care or read about. All I know is that the rush of dopamine you get from essentially using items in a tournament is 100% worth it. Oh, and speaking of power moves, there's Cackling. On the surface, Cackling might seem completely useless, but if the Bowser you're fighting doesn't have the mental capacity to count to five, you can strategically use it to get a free punish. Also, here's footage of the first ever Cackling kill in recorded history. Zoom is a free recovery. You might as well roll for it if you have a jump. It's also a completely valid approach option. Whenever you open a menu, there's five ways to deal with it. Attack from above. Shield. Reflect at a distance. Stay away. Rush you down before you get to read the menu. But that implies that you actually read the menu, because you don't really have to. In fact, if you don't, their only safe option is to stay away. Top decking is a valuable tool as a hero main. Bruh. It makes your spells unreactable. And most of them are frame six, which is a tenth of a second. As you can imagine, nothing breaks your opponent's flow like knowing that you can and will, without warning, turn yourself into a nuclear bomb at any point in the game. The fact of the matter is that the most dangerous hero player is a nihilist. Anyways. Here's some highlights of Albino playing this atrocity of a character on Twitch. If you want more of that, or just videos in general, be sure to check it out. Bada bum bum. Bada bum bum. Bada bum bum. <laughs> to be honest. Good start. Good start! Ah! That's news. Oh! I boom. Ah! Yes, it works. Yeet! Yes. Nice. Nice patient. <laughs> Bad throw. <laughs> Don't. When I have bounce, that's a no-no, okay? <laughs> In the fucking little bird asshole! Oh, this boy is about a little anal prolapse from my crit sword. That umbrella is 
too long. Oh no. <laughs> Off to a good start, boys. By the way, I have a second channel where I post stream highlights and other fun things you might want to see, so check it out. Also, a huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. And as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.